Happy Thursday, everyone. Welcome to Chair Yoga. Today we're going to have a nice, relaxing practice. All you're really going to need today is your chair and something to drink, some water. I want you to take a second, though, to check around your chair. Make sure that you're, you're, you have a lot of space, that you're not going to hit anything, and make sure you're on a non-skid surface. I'm going to have my drink underneath my chair, down there, so I don't step on it. I'm barefooted. I want us to do some exercises with our feet today. I'd love for you to be barefooted with me. If that's not possible, then just come back to this video maybe a little later when you are able to be barefoot in practice, or you can go ahead and try to do it in your shoes and see how it feels. It could give you a better sensation. So let's go ahead and take a seat. Okay, and I'm gonna come up far enough on my chair that my feet are able to be flat on the ground, okay? And we're, I'm actually today gonna work from the top and we're gonna work down. We'll stay down there a little. All right, so we're thinking a lot of like stretching today. Um, we're releasing some tension today. Let's think about our breathing exercise today. Even inhales, even exhales. That's our steady breath. If, however, you've been feeling stressed, unable to relax, you can do your relaxing breath the entire time. That's your counting one, two, three, exhale, one, two, three, four, five. You just want to make sure that the out breath is longer than the in breath, okay? All right, so let's sit tall. Go ahead, put your hands out in mountain pose. reach up through the crown of the head. I'm just going to soften my belly in. Go ahead, close your eyes, and we're going to take three inhales and exhales just to kind of settle in to our practice, to kind of signal to our body that our, our practice has begun. Okay, so open your eyes. Let's go ahead, turn our palms in. So they're facing our thighs, or you can even bring them up and put them on your lap. We're gonna start with just um, some neck circles. So we'll bring our chin down, and then we're gonna start to draw a circle over to the left. And I'm not rushing here. And we're gonna keep going. So we're just gonna keep it going around you can play a breath game with yourself and try to inhale the first part of that rotation and then be exhaling the second part of the rotation. Let's do one more. So I could inhale around and exhale around. All right, so we're gonna come up, look up, look over your left shoulder, come back to center, go ahead, look over your right shoulder, come back to center, we're going to do those neck rolls the opposite way, so drop your chin down towards your chest, and start to make those, those neck rolls, you can match this to your breath if you want, remember that's an option, or you can just Enjoy the sensation there. You're trying to notice if there's any so-called stuck points. And we're gonna do one more round. And lift it up. All right. So let's come to shoulders and then we'll come back to neck. So for shoulders, bring those hands back down by your side. Let's lift up directly up like you're scrunching your ears. And then we're gonna bring it down. Do that move again. So I'm gonna scrunch up as much as I can and then let them depress down. Now add breath, inhale up. Exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down, all right, so 
So now we're going to take the left ear towards left shoulder, bring it up, right ear towards right shoulder, and we'll bring it up. So we're going to flow a little here. So inhale, get tall, exhale, tip to the left, inhale up, tip to the right as you exhale, inhale up. One more time. Last time. All right, so let's go ahead and tip left ear to left shoulder. Go ahead and take your left hand up on top, just let it sit. And then extend that arm out. I'm going to put my palm down and reach. Now turn your thumb down on that right hand and reach it around to your back. Inhale, exhale, pull both elbows back. Good. A little variation there on Garudandasana, Eagle Arms, or excuse me, Go Mukhasana which is cow face arms. All right, release it up. Go ahead and roll your shoulders forward. We'll roll them around and down. Inhale, up around and down. One more time, inhale, up around and down. All right, let's go. Um, a long hold. This is the most ungrateful, ungraceful cat. Long hold we're gonna take to the right. Let's go ahead and take our hand up on top. So hand is just resting softly. It's not pressing. And we're going to go ahead and take that right arm out to the side. So to start, the palm is facing forward. So it's forward towards me. Breathe. And then let's go ahead and tip the thumb down. Okay, so your palm's facing back. And then I'm going to reach around to my low back. I'm not pressing on the top of my head, so it's just easy to do, but I'm gonna press my shoulders back and I'm just touching the top of my head. And I'm keeping that right ear down towards my right shoulder. And come up. Okay, alternate shoulder roll. Start with the left, take it around, bring it to the right. Now I want you to get a little dramatic. Can you start to add your torso a little? turning and turning one more time turning and turning all right take that right arm out excuse me left arm out left arm out and now you're going to reach it back directly at shoulder height just turn it back and come back to center and we'll take it out back to center and now we're going to play with a little strength there so it involves a neck tilt and a resistance so i'm going to take my left ear to my left shoulder and my left hand comes back on top now what i want to try to do is bring my head back up to um my anatomical pose back to mountain pose so i'm going to try to do that but i'm gonna resist so that means my fingertips, my webbed fingertips are on the side of my head and they're trying to hold me from lifting my head up. And now I'm just gonna relax down. Don't pull your head down, relax. One more time, resist. And soften it down. Good job. I'm gonna go a little and let's go to the other side. So ear the shoulder, hand on head, resist as you try to lift, resist, 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 soften, resist, 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 and soften, and go ahead and release. All right, so coming up on that chair a little more. We're gonna do some seated cat cow. Okay, so let's do the movements first, hand to thigh. 
but start to press the belly forward, squish your shoulders together. Okay, and you're gonna lift your eyes, maybe your chin lifts a little bit, but we're not throwing our head back. And you're breathing normal. Push down through those feet. Now, to come to cat, we're gonna take that belly button, pull it in, press your legs away, bring your shoulders forward and look down towards your knees. And bring it up. Breathe. And take it away. And bring it up. And take it away. Now with breath, inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Sit up tall, take your arms up. Warrior one arm, soften your shoulders out of your ears. Let's bring hands down, shoulder height. And let's open the arms wide and press back. Palms together, reach up, warrior one. And now let's reach and start to wake the side up. Lift the right arm up. Lift the left arm up. Arms don't have to be straight in here. Lift one more time. And we're gonna come back to warrior one. Now in your warrior one, arms are not directly overhead. Hands are slightly in front of your shoulders. Let's bring them down, palms together. Anjali Mudra out here in front. Open and squish back, press those shoulders. Palms up, reach up. We're gonna reach one time on each side, reach, reach. Bring your hands out, Anjali Mudra in front. Open, press back. One more time, inhale up, exhale, reach. Inhale, reach. Exhale, hands all the way down and inhale and stretch. Exhale, press back a little more. Now turn your thumbs down and reach back for your chair. This is open heart. So you're gonna roll those shoulder blades back. Squeeze open heart. It looks a little bit like our seated camel. In fact, let's change it to a camel. Staying here, release that left arm and take it up. Camel arm one, come back to open heart. Squeeze your shoulders, take it up. Camel arm two, bring it back. Open heart, squeeze and release. Let's go ahead and shake it out. Walk your feet out a little here in your goddess pose. Hands are going to be on your thighs. Knees are tracked over your feet. Let's take a left shoulder Shrug it down, shrug it back, shrug it down, shrug it back. Let's do inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. One more time, inhale, exhale. We're going to change chives, shrug it down, shrug it back. So move that shoulder carriage, shrug it down, shrug it back, shrug it down, shrug it back. Here we go, let's add breath, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, all right. So here we are in Goddess. Why don't we start to work a little bit um, on our torso area. Let's take arms out and let's shift side to side. Let's take it to the left and bring it up. Take it to the right, bring it up. Take it to the left and hold. Now take that right palm, reach it up, 
Left palm, reach up, take them up overhead and stretch. Breathe. Hand down, palms down with sky. Glide and glide and glide and glide. Glide over, palm up, reach and stretch. And bring it up. All right, roll your shoulders. Goddess arms. Elevate your um, your heels. You're up on your toes. Maybe walking it back in. Let's breathe. Squeeze those shoulder blades together, and bring it down. All right. So we'll do our torso um torso circles, our Buddha circles from here. Hands on your thighs. Come out a little. Okay. Now take it around. Lean back, take it around, take it back, and around, and back, one more time, around, and back, let's reverse, around, ah, oh, just enjoying it here, these don't have to be, hi Amelia, these don't have to be super big. Okay. Now, heel toe your feet in. Keep that move in mind. That's your Buddha circle. So we did it with our hands braced. I want you guys to say, take your arms, come out with me, go over to the left and just draw a big circle around. Now come back, draw it the other way. Big circle around. Let's reverse. Big circle around. Okay. These are unique to each of us. Now let's try to add this circle with our, our torso. So we're gonna take it around and taking it around, taking it around. Last time. And let's reverse, take it around, take it around, take it around. And Um, a little extended twist. So our extended twist is going to be reaching up and back. Okay, so walk your feet hip distance apart. Let's take our right hand to our left knee. Our left hand is going to go on top. First, we're just going to work the shoulder and then we're going to pull that whole belly around. So just run your left hand down your thigh, pull your shoulder back and let it come forward. Bring it down, pull the shoulder back. Let it come forward. Now we're gonna pull it back and we're gonna reach up towards the corner there. Breathe. Five, four, three, two, one. Come back, let's do the other side. So enjoy as you come back. And bring it down. Enjoy as you come back. Bring it forward. Take it back and lift it to the sky. Breathe. And release. All right, I'm gonna take a sip of water before we do low body. If you guys wanna take a sip before we do low body, go ahead. All right, one more thing, actually one more thing before low body. Let's do some lateral folds. So if your arms are getting tired, we've done a lot with arms. If they're getting tired, you can keep your hand on your belly for this. But we're gonna laterally, laterally fold and then I actually wanna come back to goddess and do a silver sticker fold. So feet hip distance apart. Gonna take that left hand down towards the ground. My right arm is gonna help me open my shoulder. Okay, I just wanna stretch the ribs here. Remember this is Great for our um, lungs, these accessory breathing muscles. Now, if this is too much hanging, bring your arm up to your thigh, okay? So you don't have to go so far. But you're trying to stretch the sides, so you can't let the hip go. The, that left hip has to stay down. Excuse me, that right hip has to stay down. Now I'm gonna look up and breathe. Oh, now squeeze 
doesn't come up. Let's go to the other side. So we'll, be, we'll use the left hand to hold the shoulder back right hand. Let's just rest on our thigh. Look up over your shoulder. So it almost looks like we're doing maybe a weird version of a side angle without our lick out, but we're good. Three, two, one. All right, option this time to go all the way. So going all the way means I'm gonna reach down towards the floor and really stretch up and over. Please stay here if this is more appropriate today. And I'm gonna take it up, other side. So I go down, have that little float, breathe, breathe, breathe. And up we come. All right, now walk your feet back to guys. So when I was talking about the silver sneaker, the silver sneaker move. In silver sneakers, deep diving, which is a forward fold is what we would call it in yoga or chair yoga, um, isn't as used as much. We might come here, whereas in yoga, you would be encouraged to come all the way down for deep diving. Deep diving is just something that you have to work out with yourself, whether your back can take it or not. If you have low back issues, I'm talking about like herniated disc, um, before they become herniated, I've forgotten the word, ruptured after they become herniated, you're not gonna wanna deep dive like that. That is just going to aggravate your back. And so remember, you can always just come in some like form like this. However, I believe if you can still do that without pain, there is a little bit of benefit to trying to come down. So in silver sneakers, we don't wanna reach down like this and grab stuff from underneath the chair. So what is taught is a side reach, but it's also just a good um, goddess side reach. So now we have our legs out and I'm gonna take my left hand just down behind that leg and open. So if I was reaching for something in silver sneakers, we're gonna turn our chest towards the left and we grab it. And you see that little stretch you get there in your flank and bring it up. So we'll go to the other side. So I gotta turn and grab my water. Okay, so I turn and then I'm gonna come back up. That's just a little difference I wanted, wanted you guys to do. Let's walk our legs in just a little side to side in our chair just to get up off those glutes, start to move those hips a little. All right, you guys ready for some active